Hi Gemini and welcome to your general love reading for mid-January 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Gemini. And because it is general, it's not going to be everybody's situation. If you would like a personal reading though, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed in general readings. All right, Gemini, let's see what is going on for you for the second half of January 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, so let's see. The main situation for you here, we have the Seven of Pentacles crossed by the Two of Swords. Okay, so it feels like something... Something is beginning to take form or somebody is trying to put in some effort, although it feels like it's taking quite a bit of time to get to the end of goal. And that's because it appears that somebody might be a little bit either indecisive or just not really taking much action. It feels like some kind of a procrastination here. For the recent past, we have death. Okay, so that's also Scorpio showing up here. Um, so some kind of an ending, some kind of a change, some kind of a transformation possibly. For you, we have the Knight of Cups as well as the Chariot. Okay, so you are in an energy of wanting love or possibly even wanting to open up emotionally, maybe wanting the other person to open up emotionally. And it feels like there might be a little bit of impatience attached to this and that's not necessarily a bad thing because I do feel like it feels like things are like almost getting there but then they don't and this might have been dragging out for a while so I could see why you would be feeling this way. That's also Cancer energy. Um, for them, we have the Eight of Cups as well as the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so it feels like it's this person who is kind of procrastinating or possibly even detaching themselves from, from the connection, keeping their distance. There's something here that they're trying to figure out or trying to manage. I feel like they're feeling a little bit overwhelmed by something and they just really don't know how to handle it. And so their way of dealing with this is to just avoid the situation. So for what is coming up, we have the King of Swords. Okay, that is good. Somebody is making a decision here being firm in that and being very decisive. And the message for you here is the Page of Swords. Okay. Um, so this is all about communication. This is all about taking a first step, being curious, being open to new possibilities, not necessarily new connections, although that could be it as well, um, but just new, new possibilities for how to make something work. So let's actually clarify and get more details here. And again, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you're cross-watching for someone else or watching for yourself. All right, so let's see, Seven of Pentacles with the Two of Swords, let's clarify. All right, and we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so what this um, procrastination might be concerning is somebody's, somebody's independence, um, breaking free from some kind of a contract. And I do feel like whoever that is, whether it's you or the other person, um, it does appear to be the other person because I do see um, that the other person is the one who's walking away here, but it, it this could even be you, it really depends. Um, it's like they have they have a block up against some kind of a partnership or a contract or an agreement with another person. It could be with you. Um, I'm seeing it more of being something else. Well, whatever this is, though, it's like they're taking a lot of time in resolving this, even though it's interesting because in the recent past, we do have some kind of an ending. So it could be that it's a situation that like, ultimately it is done. Um, 
it does feel like like it's done but there's still some procrastination when it comes to fully completing whatever that is and it could be it could be just about anything it could even be about a particular conversation or an issue or a disagreement it, it could just be anything but it does feel to be more of some kind of an agreement or a contract could be marriage um, but I'm not necessarily getting that it could be you know just any kind of a deal and it doesn't even have to be formal just some kind of an arrangement made um, in something so this is something that is taking quite a bit of time and this person whoever it is seems to be procrastinating in doing in doing that in, in blocking it off or in standing up for themselves standing their ground and yeah really moving forward from this let's see death for the recent past Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Devil. Oh, okay. So whatever it is that we're talking about here, it was something that has been toxic. It has, it's something that maybe um, was even a pattern that was repeating itself over and over again. I feel like there was a negative attachment to this, to whatever that was or is, because it, it's still here. It's still here. And even though it, it is done, it's like something about it is just completely over there's still a little bit of holding on to that. And it could be that there's some fear involved and that's why this person is holding on to this even though it is a toxic situation or if it's not toxic, it's something that's not really healthy. All right, let's see the Knight of Cups in your energy. got quite a bit here for this Knight of Cups. We have the Magician, the Five of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. All right, okay, so for some of you, this could be, um, this might even be somebody else that you might have um, showing up in your life. And it could be that you have, you have manifested this. It's not going to resonate for all of you, okay? So let me just um, clear this up a little bit. Okay, so for a particular group of you it's like you've manifested a new connection here um, and there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that but what what I'm getting here is that it might be it's like you're being asked to to really look deep and see why you manifested this like is it coming from a place of love or is it coming from a place of feeling loss and feeling feeling alone um, because with the five of swords here together with the magician I feel like there's something about this that might be a little bit um, not exactly manipulative but and not from the other person but just in your in your um, desire for this or in your calling to this whether you know it, it may have been subconsciously like i'm not saying you did this deliberately but it does feel like you may have manifested something because you were feeling a little bit lonely or something like that and because you want to be able to keep your distance possibly from another situation okay so that's just going to be for some of you um for others of you for others of you i feel like it's this person um, that has treated you in a way where now you are feeling this loneliness. And you, fe you, you feel a little bit manipulated, um, even by this person coming in. So it could be that this person, for example, that we've been talking about here, is the one who is approaching you. But you're feeling like like it's not 100% honest. I feel like you're, you're able to see through their actions and you're feeling like a little bit critical of them, like a little bit cold.
and you just don't trust this. And for others of you, both, both scenarios could actually apply. Let me see the chariot. And for some of you, it could even be that this main situation that I was talking about, about breaking away from some kind of agreement, this could be the person that you're dealing with as well. Okay, so just take it as it resonates. And for others of you, this situation could be referring to your person. Okay, it is general, so that's why a lot of times, you know, the energies can play around in different situations. They're not going to be the same for, for everybody. All right, so for the chariot, we have the five of wands and the two of swords, which did show up in the main situation. So it feels like there's some kind of... You're feeling some kind of a rush, some kind of a wanting to move in a certain direction. And again, for some of you, it could be wanting to move away from this. But there's also some conflict here. And what's conflicting you is that even though you're feeling that drive for something, um, something is off. It, it feels like it's not just conflict, but a lot of there's a lot of contradictions here between you and a particular situation. A lot of contradictions and there's a lot of um, either disagreements, really not agreeing with somebody on something. And it could be that you're also trying to figure out how to get control, how to take control over this situation, like get the reins in your hands and either get away from this or just really figure it out. Let's see what's going on with this person. Because it feels like, Gemini, you're, you're really complicated. <laughs> you're really complicated this month. All right, so for the Eight of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups. And the Five of Cups. Okay, so this other person here, even though they are detaching, or at least they're trying to, they're trying to move away from this situation or connection, but that's not really what they're feeling though, all right? There's a lot of love here. Their intuition is, I feel it's going against that because it's making them feel very, very sad, a lot of grief, um, a huge sense of loss. Possibly even, for some of them, even regret. But more so than anything, it's just a lot of sadness attached to this detachment or trying to detach from you. Hmm. Let's see the Two of Pentacles. Okay, clarifying the Two of Pentacles, we have Justice and Judgment. Okay, so Libra showing up here. There's, we also have Capricorn, I forgot to mention it earlier. This person is fluctuating back and forth, trying to make a decision here. Trying to make a decision, trying to really learn from this situation and figure out what the right thing to do is, what is the right decision. And they're having a really hard time figuring that out or trying to decide what exactly it is they should do. There's some back and forth. So it feels like, you know, on the one hand, this is a person who is detaching emotionally, even though they don't really want to. But for whatever reason, they feel like they, they have to. And again, roles can be reversed, okay? I can't stress that enough. Um, and then on the other hand, it could be that it's the opposite, wanting to move in this direction. But something about that is difficult, almost as if something still needs to be resolved here. Somebody still needs to make a, a final decision, especially when it comes to that arrangement, whatever that is, that, that contract, arrangement, agreement, whatever, partnership, collaboration. Like as long as that two of swords is there, I feel like this person can't 
um, can't really move towards towards you, even if that's them who's in the Two of Swords. Whatever the case, though, they are trying. They are trying to make some kind of a decision if that's them. If it's you, <laughs> if it's you, Gemini, yeah, you know, make that decision because I feel like something is already done. Something, somebody needs to let go of something, that's for sure, because whatever that something is, it has the devil attached to it. All right, so let's see the King of Swords because I do see somebody being very decisive here coming up, whether that be you or them. I'm kind of feeling like it's you. Of course, it could be them. But King of Swords and Page of Swords, I mean, they're both representing um, Gemini. So let's see. Ten of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Okay, that is beautiful because this is all about an ending and a new beginning. Making a decision to release some kind of burden, some kind of a responsibility that has been carried for a long, long time. And I can't help but feel like it goes back to that Three of Pentacles. And this is actually leading to some kind of a new beginning possibly even re-sparking something from the past. So that is definitely here in the um, potential for the, for the very near future. Let's see the page of sorts for the message for you. And we have the nine of wands. And the Two of Pentacles, uh, sharing up again. Something new, something new is, is possible here. I feel like you're being, you're being asked to just keep, keep an open mind overall concerning whatever situation you are in. Yes, it's been, I feel like it's been a very long uh, journey for a lot of you with this nine of wands it, it has definitely been difficult but what I'm getting here is that it's approaching the end the ending of this fluctuation overall because in this two of pentacles if you can see this image this woman um, is actually managing to balance those two pentacles whereas here it's a little bit more stormy right it's more difficult here she's trying to balance on one foot um, the ocean behind her is a little aggravated, whereas here everything is more peaceful. So this is like a message that it's almost there. Whatever that is and whatever there is for you. So yeah, Gemini, complicated reading. So let's see what the final oracle message for you is, if this resonated. And if it did, please remember to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know. Gemini. All right, and we have the new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. Yeah, so take that as it resonates either for you or for somebody else here that you are involved with. And yeah, those were your messages, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching and much love.